Presenting The Scottsboro Boys. This award-winning hit musical is based on an extraordinary true story. The last musical by the composing duo of Cabaret in Chicago, John Kander and Fred Ebb, and directed by five-time Tony Award winner, Susan Stroman. This is a showstopper. The Scottsboro Boys was one of the most famous trials, or series of trials in America, and it had been forgotten, mostly. And uh, when I sat down with uh, Kander and Ebb and David Thompson, we really wanted to tell a story that was based on something true. And uh, in effect, bring the Scottsboro Boys back to life. On a balmy southern day Don't you miss the taste of julep sipping As you while that day away John Kander and Fred Ebb said if we don't make it entertaining they won't listen. But part of the story is very difficult and, and hard for an audience to watch sometimes. But it's done uh, through entertainment and through humor, not unlike they did with Cabaret. And, uh, you know, that was a very serious subject, and they were able to tell these stories um, through their music and still make it entertaining for an audience. With Scottsboro Boys starts a conversation that people talk about, I know, around their kitchen table for two or three days afterwards. It really takes you back to your own family, to what you know about race, to the conversation of race, to how you feel about it. Um, so I know that when the people leave that theater, they go out and they talk about it, and they talk about it a lot. The Scottsboro Boys was such a hit at the Young Vic, and it looks so beautiful in that theater. I loved that the audience embraced it. So now to have the opportunity of the Scottsboro Boys going to the West End is, is thrilling. It's wonderful to have a show that can combine so many of the art forms. And it's telling an important story and a story that is true. So I think the Scottsboro Boys combines the sort of best of what we love about the theater. Everyone's a minstrel tonight. We agree completely. The Scottsboro Boys is playing at the Garrick Theatre and this is one not to miss.